The young lady said she's afraid of violence. And isn't it sad that we who have been the victims of so much violence, now whites fear violence from us. We do not have a history of killing white people. White people have a history of killing us. And what you fear, may I say this, sir? What you fear, and it's a deep guilt thing, that white folks suffer, you are afraid that if we ever come to power, we will do to you and your fathers what you and your people have done to us. And I think you are judging us by the state of your own mind, and that is not necessarily the mind of black people. That is the clip that Jackie Hilberry posted. Let's talk a little bit about this term replacement theory because I didn't know what that was mm -hmm. and then tie that to what Minister Farrakhan is saying here and then tying that to Jackie Hill Perry's point. So help us help us understand what's happening. So here. technically, if he's saying this in 1990, he would actually predate replacement theory. Replacement theory is a um, theory by a guy, um, he's a French philosopher, I believe his last name is Camus. He believes that every society, people are being either placed, inserted, minorities, with a goal of overtaking the the white race. So he does believe like in a white race. Um, I think that he could be considered a white nationalist or, you know, something like that, and not in the white nationalist um thought that we use here in America because he's not American, but um, this replacement- Yeah, according to Wikipedia, he's a white nationalist yeah. writer, Renaud Camus. So there's a Wikipedia entry about him. Okay, go ahead. But um, what replacement theory is basically is just a theory that Blacks, Browns, Indigenous people, you know, are seeking to replace white people either in politics or in society at large, um, that we would be the, you know, dominating power. A lot of critical theory is wrapped up in power structures. So when you, um, when you combine replacement theory with critical theory or critical race theory, it would be that there would be a, a replacement of power and that white people fear this um, replacement of power. Thus, you get the Buffalo shooting because white people don't want black and brown people to take over. They don't want to be replaced by um, black and brown people. So now it's almost a war um, within these two two groups of who is going to be dominant, who's going to survive, who's going to, you know, outlast whom. Now, to me, if I was white, I would just look at the abortion rates among African-Americans and say, well, that's not going to actually threaten me anytime soon. So the idea here is that Farrakhan is talking about this idea that's proliferated among white nationalists what was right before Farrakhan's comments was a younger um, white gal stood up in the audience mm -hmm. and said, the way you talk makes me afraid. Mm -hmm. And that's sort of the context of it. And she said, you know, it's so divisive and, and destructive. You know, it makes me afraid. Yeah. And then he keyed in on that word afraid mm -hmm. and then said, well, here's what you're really afraid of. You're really just afraid of black and brown people replacing replacing you, you over, in in treating taking you the over same way. In, in the power structures there was a CNN clip that we watched earlier today I didn't queue it up but CNN was definitely queuing in on this and calling this a white nationalist conspiracy there's definitely this this idea of replacement theory is floating around now among the the mainstream media as being this is what is motivating not just the buffalo shooter but motivating white politicians, white people, um, white people who are just afraid of black and brown people taking their place in position, gonna, yeah. positions of power. And so it's not just the media is trying to spin a narrative that it's not just the Buffalo shooter as like a one-off kook. Mm 
-hmm. This is a, a, a widely believed idea. White people just might not know the name of it, but they have this secret fear and that's why they don't want to attend diversity trainings. That's why they don't want to hire um, ethnically diverse staff people. Mm -hmm. They know that, and this is the assumption that's, that's behind all of these assertions. Yes. And I think that's maybe where Jackie Hill Perry was coming from. She's not trying to be an advocate for Farrakhan per se. It's just Farrakhan was articulating an idea that she finds credible.